Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make Norwegian waffles. As I've previously mentioned, I recently went on the trip of a lifetime cruising around the Baltic Sea with Princess Cruises. Our first stop was Oslo, Norway, where I had one of the most memorable dishes of the entire trip, Norwegian waffles. It's served up as a dessert there and it is amazing. Ours were served with sour cream, lingonberry jam, and delicious brown cheese, which isn't actually cheese at all. You should Google it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a version of that at home, and it is amazing. Start with six eggs into a large mixing bowl and add in half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then mix that together with a hand mixer. You wanna beat this until it's nice and creamy and little bubbles start to form on top. And then we'll add in our dry ingredients, starting with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Pour that in, followed by a teaspoon of baking powder and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And we'll mix this in real quick. Once the batter is smooth and all of the flour is incorporated, we can add in our final two ingredients, starting with one cup of sour cream. You wanna make sure you're using real sour cream for this, not reduced fat or anything like that. And then we'll finish it off with half a cup of melted butter and then mix this in. You should end up with a very creamy, rich looking batter. Set it aside and let it rest for 20 minutes before baking up your waffles. Now for Norwegian waffles, they use a special waffle maker. And in fact, I had some friends in college who always gave this kind of waffle maker as gifts at weddings because it is heart shaped. It's super cute. I'll give a link to Amazon in the video description. So if you wanna get one for yourself, check that out. Just look how awesome it is with all those little hearts. I'm gonna brush on some melted butter to keep our batter from sticking. And then we'll add in some batter and I'm using a quarter cup measuring cup for my scoop for that. You wanna make sure you don't overfill your waffle iron here. And we'll close the lid and let it cook until it's golden brown. Now in Norway, they traditionally serve these up with lingonberry jam, sour cream, and brown cheese. I understand that it can be really hard to find lingonberry jam and brown cheese in the United States. So you can just use your favorite kind of jam and leave out the brown cheese. But if you ever find brown cheese, you have to promise me that you will try it because it is so amazing. It's one of those things that sounds weird, but is incredibly delicious. Now our sour cream in the United States is a little bit different than that in Europe. So instead of sour cream, I'm using creme fraiche. And instead of lingonberry jam, I'm using raspberry jam today. But you can just use your favorite. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. And stay tuned and I'll give you some pictures from my amazing trip to Oslo, Norway. See you later.